So what are you going to do when the power goes out? Well, today we're here in Seattle at a home that has a whole home backup power solution installed. We're going to check it out. Today, we're going to be looking at the Anchor Solex E10. This is the world's first hybrid whole home backup system. It's all right inside of here and the homeowner is asked to stay anonymous. So we just got full access to it. Let's check it out. A lot of you are concerned about the power going out in the winter time, which is a legitimate concern because it happens to people all around the country all the time. When we think about how we're gonna have power to back up our homes, a lot of the more traditional ways are to just to have a, a loud, noisy gas generator outside that you crank up and, and power up your house. That's an option, but it's not a very good option because there is no battery backup, there is no solar power coming in, it's loud, it's noisy, and it's not very efficient. But the Anchor Solex E10 kind of solves all of those problems. You've got your massive inverter up here, and then you've got two batteries right down here, but you can expand it all the way out to 90 kilowatt hours of battery backup. Plus, you can bring in solar power to charge these batteries. You can charge them off of the grid and you can charge it with their integrated generator. So with the grid, solar, and generator, you can have infinite power. It's a pretty cool system. Let me show you how it works. So right here on top, you've got a 7.68 kilowatt inverter that can put out 240 volts. And then you've got two six kilowatt hour batteries to back up the whole system. So when we stand back and look at it like this, you can see we also have this smart inlet box right here. So grid power comes into this box from this panel into here, comes down through this cable, over to this side and into the inverter to charge the batteries. When you need to use the power from the batteries, it comes back up through that inverter, comes out the cable over to here and then into the panel to power the entire house. And this guy is UL certified, so it meets residential storage and safety standards. And so if this home had solar power, right here is where you would hook it up. You can hook up two arrays, 4,500 watts per array for a total of 9,000 watts. And right here is where you would turn on or off the solar panels. All right, and then this right here is the last component. This is actually the, the gas generator. It can run on natural gas, propane, or you know, like regular gasoline if you need it to, but it'll automatically start when it needs to and charge up the batteries and all of that. We're gonna test it out and make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. It's a pretty cool little unit, outdoor rated, leave it out in the rain, no problem. Let's go ahead and hook it up so we can test it out. Now, obviously this system is already all installed, so we can't show you the installation process, but let me tell you, it's super simple to install. I personally could do it myself in Idaho, but if you need an electrician to do it, there are Anchor Solex verified electricians who can install all of this for you. It's super simple, just a couple of breakers and you're good to go. Joe's, let's go ahead and test this system out. Right now we're at 380 watts and that's power coming from the grid. So we wanna start turning stuff on and just crank it up. We go inside and just like start turning stuff on. Yep. All right. All right, so we got it up to over 9,000 watts, and now the Anchor Solex E10 is powering the entire house. Now, let's go ahead and simulate uh, the grid going down. So, the grid's off. Oh no, no power, what do we do? Well, you come out here to your garage and you turn the main off for your house, which then allows that to slide down so that you can turn this on. Turn that on. Now we're running on the battery backup right here. So let's see how much power we can get out of this guy. So right now on the app, we can see that we're bringing power in from the Anchor Solex E10 and it's going to the panel right here in the house. And right now we're pulling in about 350 watts. 
Would you please go in and start turning stuff on again? All right, let's do it. All right, Joel's just turning stuff on in there. We should see it start going up. Oh, look at that. 3,400 watts. Up to 3.8, 5.4, 5.7, uh, 6. six. Oh, 10. Whoa, wow. There we go. We are in turbo mode now, which means you can run at up to 10,000 watts for an hour and a half. Now, you might not need that all of the time, but you will definitely need it when large loads kick on, like your air conditioner or your well pump or other large loads that may trip other systems. And so right now we are running off of these two batteries right here. And each one of these is six kilowatt hours of battery. One of the cool features about this system is you can turn on the storm guard within the app. And what that's gonna do is monitor the weather situation. And when there is a storm warning, it will actually charge up your batteries so that if the power goes out during a storm, you'll have full batteries to run your entire house. Another cool feature is the time of use setting. So you can come in here and set when your off peak is, your super off peak and all of that kind of stuff. Also set the price that you pay during each one of these times for your power. And so that's really helpful if you live in an area that has peak and off peak pricing for your power so that your batteries will charge up during off peak and then you can use that battery power during your peak hours when your power is expensive. One thing that I forgot to mention about the batteries is that they're UL listed for fire safety and so even under an extreme failure they won't spread fire. All right so you've been running your house for a while off of your batteries and they're getting a little bit low. Right now we're down to 31 percent and so we need to start up the generator. Let me show you how you do that. We've got the generator set outside. The exhaust is going that way for safety. Go to devices, go to the generator, and you wanna make sure that it's on DC so that it's way more fuel efficient, possibly up to five times as fuel efficient running on DC than AC. So we slide it across to start. There we go. It's running, man. And that's how loud it is right there. So that thing started right up, Bill. And right now we're on eco mode. Let's change that down to quiet mode. Oh, you can hear that thing got a lot quieter. And we're putting out 2100 watts in quiet mode. So now let's turn it up to eco mode. We're putting out 4100 watts. Let's bump it up to turbo. And we're up to 4,600 watts. And now you can see we're bringing in power from the generator of 4,600 watts. It's going into the batteries, out of the batteries, into the house. And this is a tri-fuel unit, so you can use natural gas, gasoline or propane another cool feature about this generator is you can do the auto start and stop right here and you can set when the generator is going to start depending on what percentage you're at <laughs> and it just started back up again based on the numbers that we had set for when it's going to auto start so the generator starts when the batteries get down to 51% and it'll turn off at 80%. But you can adjust that right here. Anchor also has a fully automatic option with their power dock. It gives you hands-free backup and load management. All right, guys. If you think the Anchor Solex E10 is a solution that you might like to install in your home, well, I will link to it down in the description below and be sure you use the discount code so that you get the best price. We want to thank Anchor for sponsoring this video and we hope you guys have a really great day and keep smiling.